Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Apple just rolled out iOS 26 beta 4 yesterday and I've had it on my iPhone 15 Pro for a full day now. I can tell you what's new here and how the day-to-day -day experience is using it. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, first, like in my previous videos, I just started with how's the performance with a synthetic benchmark using Geekbench 6. And as you can see here, my score hasn't changed that much from the previous beta. My single core is now 2707 and the multi core is 6865, which is, you know, a pretty average score for this iPhone 15 Pro. And that's the raw performance. Now, let's see how's the day-to-day -day performance. And I was so happy with this new beta 4 because it's a really huge performance improvement. It's really snappy and has less stutter and I dare to say I haven't seen any stutter till now. See when I swipe from the lock screen to the home screen how snappy it is and how smooth the animation is. It's really better than the previous performance. And when I'm swiping the screen opening apps, swiping notifications, control panel and so on it's really smooth. The animation as you can see is a lot better now. And how are the thermals so far? It's great. It's not warm like you know the previous beta. My phone could get warm for no reason and now on beta 4 it's a really huge improvement. I think it's the last developer beta version before the public beta. I think it's like a few days later to release. So Apple is making more improvements for the publicly released beta. Okay, that's my performance experience using iOS 26 beta 4. Then I want to tell you what's new in this new beta 4. First, as you can see at the beginning, I thought you might have noticed when I was swiping the lock screen, home screen, notification center, control center, and opening apps, there is so much new here. Apple brought back the liquid glass that before in the previous beta 3, Apple nerfed it. As you can see on my left is my iPhone 16 with iOS 26 beta 3 and in my right hand my iPhone 15 Pro is running the latest beta 4. Side by side as you can see here the iPhone 15 Pro with beta 4 is more polished. We'll start from the lock screen. Apple now on the lock screen when you scroll through notifications the background gets darker. The darker tone improves the readability of the text. See here side by side it's really different and so much better. Now we swipe up to the home screen, see how the liquid glass is now so much clearer and the text readability is still okay, it's more polished. I think Apple just found the sweet spot for how the opacity of the glass is now. See when I'm opening the music app on beta 3 as you can see the bar is more flat and now in beta 4 it's really cool and dynamic. Also in the control center as you can see here side by side it's more polished now. The liquid glass is more translucent in beta 4 with Apple walking back some of the opacity changes that it introduced in beta 3. Now for wallpapers, the wallpapers introduced with iOS 26 are now dynamic and will change color over the course of the day. A nice little touch. Then Apple reintroduced the notification summaries. Apple intelligence notification summaries are available for news and entertainment apps again. Apple removed summaries for news articles back in January to improve the feature and now it's ready for testing again. All notification summaries for news and entertainment apps that are generated with Apple Intelligence will be italicized and will be annotated with the summarized by Apple Intelligence. There are some app changes as well. In the camera app, Apple also changed the icon of the camera app on the home screen. As you can see here, side by side, left is the iPhone 16 with beta 3 and right is the iPhone 15 Pro with beta 4. Also, when you swipe between modes in the camera app, the button behavior has changed slightly. Before the button seemed to be fixed with the background sliding back and forth, but now the button moves freely in both directions. In the settings app, when you tap on face ID and passcode, there's an updated interface and wording that reminds you to enter the passcode you use to unlock the iPhone. And for calls, Apple updated the screen unknown callers option to add new options. You can turn the feature off, ask unknown callers the reason why they are calling, or silence calls from unknown numbers automatically, sending them to voicemail. And Apple is doing more small touches on other apps. But yeah, for now, this is the common day-to-day -day feature and I feel like I am and a lot of you are too. So that's my experiences so far at iOS 26 beta 4. So far it's been a really positive experience with some great refinements. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video a like would be awesome and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.